Hey there, everybody. Thomas Wood with Basecamp Trading. It is Tuesday, March 28th, and we're going to take a look at 30 year bonds and more specifically this breakdown that's happening right now and the shooting star that led into this breakdown and the bearish engulfing that led into the shooting star. So if you look at what bonds did here, so we're going to go back and look at naked trading concepts, which are trading on price action mainly. Okay, initially this morning, you had a, a pretty good channel here, ranging in between 151 and 18 30 seconds and 151 and 8 30 seconds. We proceeded to break through that resistance and then we spiked. Um, now, up here, these are what we call reversal dojis. Okay, and, and a reversal doji happens when you have uh, at the top of a big up move, you have a long wick sticking out to the upside, like we do here. And then right after that, we had a bearish engulfing candle. Okay, that's where we gapped up and off the body of the last candle and then close down below it. We dropped and then bounced and then right here we had the shooting star. Now shooting star is a bearish price action pattern. All right, and what a shooting star is, is it's telling us, okay, the buyers came in and tried to push prices higher. They failed, the sellers came back at the end of the bar, pushed prices all the way back down, won the price bar and closed it right at the very bottom of the range. Okay, so, the sellers overtook what the buyers had done and made the price bar close down. And then we proceeded to start to accelerate lower. Now, the way you enter on a shooting star is you sell as soon as it breaks the low of the shooting star pattern. So that means you would have been selling right over here. However, if you're like me, you go, okay, I don't necessarily want to sell there because we have support down below. Where do we want to look at shorting? We want to look at shorting when we break through the previous pivot low or that support because the next support is not until you get all the way down to where we are and where we just stopped right now, which is the next pivot low, all the way down at 150 and 20. So we break through 151, 830 seconds support, proceed to accelerate lower, and we test 150 and 20, 30 seconds, which is where we are right now. And then we'll see if we're gonna be able to break through there or not. But either way, your trade has played out and you've hit your first target. So great job, everybody took that short. Uh, we talked about it in the trading room with the support breaks and 10 year note and 30 year bonds and the Euro all of which are playing out very nicely. So nice job there. But again, big point for today, pay attention to your candlestick patterns within the context of your overall uh, price action movement and support resistance levels, because they will tell you when a market's going to have strength leading into a support or resistance break, such as bearish engulfing and shooting star leading into a bearish support break, suggests that we're going to continue to head, see prices head lower. Alrighty, that's all I have for you for today. I will see you in the trading room bright and early tomorrow morning. Don't forget to click the link to subscribe so you can get these daily videos every day that we send out on the Basecamp Trading YouTube channel. Also, if you go down below here, there's a link where you can join us in the trading room for an entire month for only $7. Uh, you'll get the trading room access, plus you'll get the end of day videos, plus you'll get the chat room where we have all the members are in there chatting, chatting all day long. Uh, so that's a really good deal. You can get that. The link is down below in the description. That's it for today, though. I'll see you tomorrow, and until next time, happy trading.